Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist um, in York Hospital. And uh, today I wanted to do a little video on the subject of ectopic heartbeats and mainly on the subject of why some people get chest pain when they get ectopic. So I've spoken to a lot of you guys, um, you know, um, over the past few months because of the videos that I've been doing. And many people have come back to me and say, but it hurts, you know, when I get one of these, it really hurts. And I wanted to try and explain it in sort of simplistic terms. I did lots of research and I couldn't find much on the internet and not many people talk about why you get this. Uh, but I thought I would do it in a very simple way. So bear with me because I'm trying to um, improvise as we go along, okay? So, the first thing to try and understand is uh, how your heart normally beats, what actually happens, all right? So the electricity of your heart is generated in a part of the heart called the pacemaker, okay? So the easy way to understand how the pacemaker works is think of a man with a drum, okay? He's your pacemaker. So he sits there and he beats the drum. and then he waits until the echo of the drum dies away and once it's died away he beats the drum again that's what your pacemaker does he beats the drum he waits the echo dies away he beats the drum again and that's how um, your heart works okay now here we go the heart itself mechanically is like a pump okay so it's doing this sorry it's doing this Okay, if you look, it's going to be doing this. But I want, you, I want you to understand is and think of it as not just a pump like this, but instead think of it as a pump which has got rubber bands around it. All right? So what happens now? Okay, so when, the, when your pacemaker, the guy with the drum, beats the drum, what happens? Your heart, which is full of blood at the moment, and therefore is stretched, the rubber bands are stretched, contracts, pushes the blood out, and then slowly starts filling with blood, okay? And it keeps doing that until the guy hits the drum again. And at that, that point, what happens? The uh, blood goes out and the heart starts filling up, okay? Now, the longer you give for the heart to fill up, i.e. the longer the time, for you know between the guy beating the drum or the drum beats the more the heart will fill up with blood and therefore as if the heart is made out of you know little rubber bands around it the more you're stretching the rubber bands okay so what happens when you get an ectopic beat so in an ectopic beat what happens is that your guy fire your pacemaker fires a drum okay He's waiting for the echo to die down. But before the echo dies down, someone else, somewhere else, fires a, a beats another drum. So your pacemaker, therefore, has to wait for that echo to die down. So it takes him, he therefore is waiting much longer than the normal amount of time before beating the drum again, because he's still waiting for the echo. He doesn't realize that the echo he's getting back is from another drum that someone else has be, hit. He's thinking it's the same drum. So he's basically waiting for the echo to die down. And therefore, he's taking longer to beat the drum. So what happens is this, okay? Your pacemaker fires, hits the drum, the heart empties and starts relaxing, okay? But before it can relax to what it normally does, before it can fill up, someone else beats the drum. So the heart empties. Now look, what has happened is instead of the heart, instead of the rubber bands being stretched that far, they've only been stretched this far because the extra beat, the premature ventricular complex or the ectopic has come in early. So the heart has not had much time to fill with blood. And therefore, only a little bit of blood comes out of the heart. Okay. Now what happens? Now the heart starts filling up again 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 but your 
pacemaker is still waiting for the echo to die down. So the heart keeps filling up, keeps filling up. The rubber bands keep stretching, keep stretching. And then eventually when the pacemaker fires again, boom. Okay. So you've stretched the rubber bands far more. The heart has been more stretched. It's easier if I show it like this. So basically what happens is whenever your pacemaker fires, if, you, if I show you this rubber band, the pacemaker fires, this is what happens, okay? It goes, the rubber, the heart is full of blood at the moment, the rubber band is stretched, and as soon as the pacemaker fires, the rubber band is let go, and then the rubber band starts stretching again. Waits for the pacemaker to fire again, lets go, and starts stretching again. Problem is, when you get an ectopic beat, what happens is, pacemaker fires, it lets go, starts stretching, another bit, the ectopic fires, let's go not very much of a contraction and that's why it felt like a missed beat because there's no blood really coming out because the rubber band hasn't been stretched but then there is a delay because your pacemaker then waits for the echo to die down and then what happens is you start getting more it goes on it fills 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 and then the pacemaker fires ouch and that's why you get the discomfort because there's so much more volume going out of the heart and that to my mind is the reason why some people complain of um, ectopic heartbeats hurting them all right and particularly if you've got two or three ectopics in a row then that would obviously cause more pain in that setting the best thing is try and do some exercise get the heart rate up make the drummer beat faster and faster so there's less chance of another maverick drummer kicking in I, an ectopic happening. I hope this was useful. <laughs> I've um, tried to improvise, but I hope um, uh, you understand the explanation. If you don't, please let me know so that I can modify it and make it, uh, make it um, come across a bit better. Um, and um, thank you so much for uh, all the nice comments. Uh, I'm really glad that some of you have chosen to become my Facebook friends, so um, it's good and I'll keep uh, corresponding with you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Um, you know my website and uh, my secretary's number. Uh, on the website, you can actually even book virtual consultations should you want to see me or speak to me over the phone. Uh, I'm also on Facebook and I'm also on Twitter. So thank you so much for listening and I wish you a good night.